Hello and welcome back. So I posted a question recently in the channel's community tab asking for what you would like to see in the upcoming videos and got a couple of responses. So we are going to see about one of them today. How to stream S3 data to open search domain. The other ask was to set up a Kubernetes cluster in AWS and that will be my next video. So if you would like to see anything specific, uh, please do leave a comment on the post and I'll try to make a video as soon as I can. So this is what we are going to build today. Uh, we are going to set up an S3 file upload event as a trigger for Lambda. And whenever there is a new file, you're going to push the content of that file to an open search, open search domain. Let's get started. Okay, so we are in the AWS console. First, let's start by creating the open search domain. I'm going to give the domain a name and then choose the deployment type as development and testing. So since this is a demo instance, I'm going to deploy this in a single availability zone uh, with just one node. And if you are doing this in a production instance, uh, try and choose more nodes depending on your requirement. I'm going to deploy this as a public access one and I'm not putting this within a VPC. And within the access policy, you have to change this a little bit because the default access policy denies all the access. So even we will not be able to access the uh, open search uh, cluster. So what I'm going to do is update this policy uh, so that it allows us to access it from our machine alone. Uh, so copy this policy. This is available in the GitHub repository. I'll leave the link of that in the description. So you have to change a couple of things here. That is the account ID. Replace this with your uh, AWS account ID. And then you have to change the uh, IP address. So this will allow you to access the dashboard from your specific machine that you're accessing from. All right, so these are the basic settings that we want and let's go ahead and create the uh, domain. So this is going to take anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and create the Lambda and S3 bucket and the other components that are needed. So the first thing which we are going to create is the Lambda function. And we are going to create a Python function today. And the code for this function is available in the GitHub repository. I will leave a link of that in the description again. So give the function a name and then choose Python 3.8. If you're using a different version of Python, make sure that you're changing the Python packages within the uh, repository which I have provided you. And this will automatically create an execution role. Uh, we have to change the permissions of that execution role a little, a little bit in order to access the open search domain as well as the S3 bucket. So let's switch to IAM. And here under roles, you will find a role which was just created by AWS itself. Let's go ahead and edit this policy. So by default, this policy has access to CloudWatch logs. And we are going to change this a little bit in order to access open search domain as well as the uh, S3 bucket. So copy the policy and paste it here. Here again, you will have to change the account ID as well as the uh, bucket name. And if you're using a different name for your Elasticsearch uh, cluster, as well as uh, the Lambda name, then you have to change those as well. And I haven't created an S3 bucket yet, uh, so I'm going to give a, a random name here. And after this, let's go ahead and create an S3 bucket. Okay, I'm just naming it as project bucket and then some random number. As the S3 bucket name has to be globally unique, uh, hopefully this is still available. Uh, let's try creating the bucket. So let's save this first. And then now moving on to S3 and choose the option for creating a bucket. 
and I'm going to put this in US East it's up to you you can choose your own region I'm going to leave all the other bucket settings as defaults and create a bucket Okay, so we have our bucket now and before trying to upload anything here we have to go back to the lambda and make a couple of changes so let's upload the zip file uh, that is our actual code which is going to pick the contents from s3 and upload it to the uh, open search domain Okay, this is taking a couple of minutes okay that's done and now we have to add a trigger uh, so that uh, the source is going to be s3 and we are going to choose the bucket name uh, we just have one bucket so that's what we are going to select here and then you have various event options in our case we are going to choose all object create events so whenever there is a new uh, object uploaded uh, your lambda function will get triggered so let's add this okay so we have the trigger um, set and so now let's go back and see if our domain is provisioned so it's still being created. I'm going to pause the video and then come back. So it's been a while and as you can see the domain is provisioned now and you will be able to access it through the dashboard URL. And now if we go into the um, dev tools section, you should be able to see the Kibana tools and then uh, you should be able to create an index. So I'm using the open search documentation as a reference and I'm going to create an index now. So I'm just reusing our previous example. I'm going to create the index as books and the books index is going to have two uh, attributes. One is the author and the other one is the book title. Both are going to be of type text. And then I'm, I'm going to just give the alias name as books1. It's totally up to you whatever you want to name the index name as. And I'm going to just run a quick search. So you don't have any records yet. So this is the default record. So now let's go back uh, to the lambda. Just had to have two uh, environment variables. It is one is the ES host that is the host name that we just created so copy the host name of your open search uh, domain and paste it there so this will differ for each of us so that that's the reason we are using it as the environment variable and then we also need to add ES index uh, so the index will also change as per your use case so it's better to have it as an environment variable so now we are all done so i'm going to upload a sample file here this file is also available in the repository and once you upload it here you should be able to see the records being created in the open search domain as well so if we go and uh, run the search again you should see new two new records so it's very simple. Hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.